What's going on guys? This is Matt, your eBay mate, and I wanted to do a quick video for you today to show you how I take pictures of the shoes that I sell on eBay um, and show you my setup that I have here. It's quite a cheap uh, setup. I did not buy any uh, professional equipment as you're about to see. Uh, first of all, I, I do a white backdrop. Um, this here is just a, a white sheet. It's kind of white pot. You can wipe it clean. Uh, I picked this up from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. The one in the back there is just one of those styrofoam boards. I also, I think I got that at Walmart maybe for a dollar also. Then over here I've got two lamps on this side and two lamps on this side. Uh, these are not special lamps. I, these are lamps I already had so I didn't really invest anything into this. The only thing I did is I uh, try and diffuse the light. I bought some of this uh, paper from, I think from Michaels or one of those craft stores to try and uh, diffuse the light. You don't want that harsh light on the shoes. Anyway, I'll just show you, uh, I'll just kind of go through the pictures that I'll take here. Obviously, I'll try and take as many as I can, uh, as close to 12, which are allowed. Um, yeah, so I'll take one from that angle, one from over there. I'll do the same with the, the other shoe. Then I'll probably do a front photograph like this or maybe like that um, I'll do a back picture like this then I'll try and get one of the inside of the shoe however you know however that is let's have a look so you can see the brand and the model of the shoe and then sometimes you have the the sizing information here maybe try and get that in the same picture or take a separate picture for that and obviously I try and do the one of the sole it's kind of hard to hold the camera and and do this maybe I'd do it something like this I'm not sure if it'll hold for the, for the video oh well it fell over and uh, maybe another one like this towards the end I kind of like uh, that shot with both shoes in the picture if there's any um, Anything particular interesting about the shoe, obviously I try and highlight that, any features, maybe a brand name on the side sometimes or or whatever. But that's that's how I do the pictures. And as you can see, you don't need to spend a lot of money. If you did want to buy lamps like these, these four, these probably only cost like $7 at uh, Walmart. Again, the backdrop and the uh, this thing, a dollar each. Um, I would recommend getting something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this for women's shoes, just to so they don't lie completely flat, uh, especially sort of sandals and everything. You don't want to flat, you want it to look like it would if someone was actually wearing it. Also, you probably want to get some, uh, I didn't need it for this photo, um, but you're probably going to need to get some shoe trees at some point. I, uh, I think I picked these up at a thrift store, uh, so I paid next to nothing for those. So just keep your eye out for a pair. They're always good to have anyway. I actually bought a pair of Allen Edmonds recently that came with some uh, Allen Edmonds shoe trees. And I I think I paid uh, around $10 for the shoes with the trees inside. And then I flipped the, the trees for about $22 just by themselves. So uh, that was kind of lucky. But anyway, that's the video for you today. That's kind of how I have my photo set up. And like I said, you don't need a big budget for this. Um, it does the job. Just make sure you have a, an okay camera and uh, you may need to adjust the, uh, the white balance down with all this light beaming directly onto the shoes. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please, if you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll probably make some more how-to videos as we go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.